In this video, I'm going to explain to you how I fixed a, a red light problem on this Samsung Plasma TV. So what would happen would be the light, you would plug it in and the red light would come on and it would blink, but it would never turn on. So I bought it broken like that. <clears throat> Model number is PN50A450P1D. So, I took it apart, and I, I already had an idea it was a problem with the power supply. So I took it apart, took the back off, looked at the power supply. I noticed, I think this capacitor there, up there, and this one down here. Were bulged at the top all show you over here <clears throat> these are the two I pulled out see that that's bad first indicator is the bulge at the top it's not totally flat second is stuff is actually leaking out of it a bit it's black there this one is just bulged Now, so I looked up the uh, model number of the power supply board on eBay. First thing I realized was that there were a lot of repair kits out for it. And they were just capacitors. They were like $20 for a repair kit. Pretty good deal. <clears throat> but they, they pack the repair kits and sell them like that because obviously this power, power supply board does this a lot it has this problem a lot or else that wouldn't be there on eBay so automatically I thought okay yeah it probably needs one of those kits especially with these two capacitors bulging like that so what I did I didn't buy one of the kits because they're a bit overpriced I just looked up the two capacitors I have I looked up their spec you need a 4700 uh, I can't remember what it is something farad so that's I think 4.7 farads not totally sure but just just match it up you don't need to you don't really need to know everything about them just match it up I think I think the that can be a higher number it just can't be lower and then it has to be a 10 volt that has to be exact it has to be 10 volt but eBay has lost them these these I replaced I got, I got uh, five of the smaller ones and two of the bigger ones for under $5 shipped from China to Canada. So save $15 there getting only the ones I need to get. And then yeah, uh, those capacitors just came today. I uh, soldered them on and voila, works fine now. So this, I'm not going to really explain the soldering, but uh, there are a lot, lot of videos on how to solder a capacitor on a board on YouTube. So yeah, I just desoldered the old ones, put the new ones on, powered up, worked fine. Other things you should check are uh, fuses. When you're doing it, just make sure they're good. They're one, two, three, there's three on this board. One of them's kind of hidden. But yeah, th this by no means this is the only this is not the only thing that can go wrong with this board. It is just the most common thing, I'm sure. Anyways, thanks for watching.